Oh, oh, great. <laughs> Lauren's horse is farting right in my face. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's bright and early this morning. Lauren and I are gonna head out to do something that she's very excited for. We're gonna head to a coffee farm. We're gonna do a little bit of a tour, I guess. Find out how the coffee is processed. I guess the whole process in general. And it's really close to Volcan de Fuego. So that should be pretty cool as well. Hopefully we'll get to see some eruptions. Right now it's not so clear, so I don't know how much we'll get to see, but we're pretty excited for that. I'm not a big coffee fan, so this is uh, definitely more of Lauren's thing, but I'm interested in trying something new today. We'll probably do a few other activities as well, so stay tuned for that. I'm full baby face today, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video. at our place here it's called San Cayetano or Finca San Cayetano uh, it's incredibly beautiful here and Lauren just told me a few weeks ago I guess Will Smith actually stayed in Antigua and I guess he stayed at this location and I can see why it's really really beautiful so we got a little bit of time to kill before we do our coffee tour here and I can't think of a better place for us to just sit and relax for the next hour I don't know how you feel but this is Lauren's kind of vibe for sure I think we'll just sit here patiently and just hope that the volcano shows itself soon. This is actually the one that erupts too, so I hope it's for some really good views today. This place is just so peaceful and gorgeous. And down there, it uh, goes towards the coastline, we believe, and the mountains down there look absolutely amazing. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've started our tour now. This guy right behind us here, this is Miguel. He's gonna be showing us around and hopefully teaching us some pretty interesting things about coffee here. Okay, welcome to the San Cayetano farm. So this plantation is considered organic. So we don't export our coffee production, it's just for local consumption. That's why we roast our own coffee and it's very fresh. So we have Chemex and B60 and we also have cold brew. At the end you can taste this kind of thing. So First, we're going to see the coffee tree nursery where we have seeds to prepare new plants of coffee. So this is a processed coffee bean here. We're gonna go see the freshly picked ones now, I believe. Before we transplant the coffee, we need to separate good and bad coffee beans. Mm -hmm. These beans, are good quality coffee because when it's bad it's, it's black. black we have a little black point mm -hmm. on the green coffee and it's not good for new plants or for good quality coffee too when we have the real harvest all arabica plants look like this there are many red green yellow and orange and when they're red does that mean that they're ready yes yeah. so they are ready when they turn very red because if we pick all together, the quality is not good. For a good quality coffee, we always pick this red. Mm -hmm. Look, sometimes a lot of coffee beans are like this. Oh, okay. Mm, that's Inside. black. Yeah. When we use water, when they all these kind of beans float, and we get beans like this. So is, this one is good? Yeah. Those are bad? Bad. Okay. Big coffee companies in Guatemala, when they buy coffee from everywhere and they find a lot of coffee like this, they don't waste it because they have cheap instant coffee from all this coffee. Is that why instant coffee isn't so good? Uh, yeah. I don't like instant coffee. You don't like it? No. <laughs> in this section there's two different kinds of plants here they have this one here called catura which i guess is a plant that comes from brazil and just over here they have one called geisha which is a plant that comes from ethiopia i guess the geisha ones are a little bit taller and they have some different processes and flavors i guess but 
yeah this place is quite interesting there's lots of different kinds of plants and different things about coffee that i never knew before two types of plants pacas native from el salvador and mara gojipe from brazil so it's like a grafting process too that they have tasting a cup of coffee is really good so it's sweet it has a fluty and citrus taste more acidic than the other varieties and it's like a creamy creamy tasting a cup of coffee too so miguel was just telling us here that uh some of the local workers they'll have about 40 people or so that work here and they get paid about 60 quetzales per 45 kilograms which i guess is 10 canadian dollars in us maybe nine other places here they pay only 45 which is 50 cents per hour i guess roughly and they're gonna build a village here for all the workers which is pretty cool so we're about to go see where they actually do the roasting of the coffee beans and i wish you guys could smell this it smells amazing That small leg. <laughs> so I was just kind of showing the process of how they roast the beans and after they're grinded how they package them and put the labels on the bags and everything. It's pretty cool and I, yeah like I said I wish you guys could smell that because it smells so good. What does it taste like? Yeah. Tastes like coffee at all? No. <laughs> We're gonna go taste the coffee now. How excited are you? Very excited. <laughs> All right, so Miguel has left us now and we are sitting, waiting to try some coffee. I think uh, Lauren's been craving this all morning since she only had a small coffee. Waiting for this one for sure. Tasting time. Cheers. How good is that? It's very strong. Well, it's really bitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's really bitter. It's good though. All right, so this is the second cup that we're preparing right now. Lauren likes this smell better. So this was the first method, this is the second method that's being prepared right now, and I guess the uh, third method is cold brew, which he's also preparing for us right now, so yeah, there it is. In a champagne glass, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be so hyper today. I don't even drink coffee that often. <laughs> All right, taster number two. Yeah. I prefer this one. I don't find it as citrus. All right, we're gonna try the cold brew now. <laughs> Cheers. How's that one? Same thing? Yeah. <laughs> Just cold? It tastes the same. <laughs> Lauren's supposed to be the expert. She's saying that they all taste the same, so let me see. I don't even know what that, that one tastes way different. It's, it's almost like alcoholic. <laughs> As I mentioned, I don't normally drink coffee, so I'm gonna be absolutely buzzing after this and Lauren's gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> 
Okay, we're done with the coffee tasting now and I'm absolutely buzzing, as they say in the UK. <laughs> and we're gonna go try something now that I haven't done since I was, I don't know, like 11 years old and I had a very healthy fear of them for a very long time, but uh, we're gonna go horse riding. So I don't know if you've been horse riding recently or not. Not recently, but when I was a kid I've done it. Yeah, so this should be pretty interesting. Okay, vamos. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> Lauren's horse is farting right in my face. <laughs> my dude just had to fart right in front of my horse's face too. I'm so sorry, buddy. It's a very strange feeling being on a horse, to be honest. I know most people would probably just think this is normal, but for me, you know, I grew up in cities and always had a bit of a healthy fear of horses because they're so powerful, but this is kind of nice, especially in a place like this, it's really quite peaceful. Other than the farting, they're quite beautiful animals. All right, we're in a whole new little landscape now. It's a lot drier here. We've only been going for like five minutes. We got the volcano kind of peeking out in the background right now. We're hoping to get some more views of that later too. fruit that is but it looks like a raspberry it doesn't taste like a raspberry though hmm. does anybody know what kind of fruit this is let us know in the comments honestly this is a very chill thing to do but it's quite hard going downhill and i'm just trying to figure out how people ride these things at full speed in like races that must take a lot of strength both for the horse and for the rider because i'm i'm struggling just holding on to it going downhill right now practicing her Spanish with her guide. Yeah, it's all right. Mine is still better. was a nice relaxing way to spend our morning I think. Coffee tour, quick horse riding. What did you think about that experience? Amazing, excellent, fantastic. <laughs> Volcan de Fuego has been peeking out all day. I'm not sure if it's going to make a proper appearance. Uh, so we've also stayed here for lunch and what did we order? We ordered two hamburgers and a <laughs> spinach and artichoke dip. Very Guatemalan. <laughs> This is looking delicious. Mm -hmm. Yum fries. <laughs> and Lauren's new favorite. Okay, well, I don't think we're gonna get to see the volcano anymore today, but uh, I think we're gonna sign off the video here. It's been a pretty interesting day doing the coffee tour. Horse riding was pretty cool as well. Yeah, the coffee tour was a good experience and the horse riding was really cool. Like we said, we haven't been on a horse since we were children, so it was pretty yeah. fun. And the grounds here are really beautiful. I can see why this place was highly recommended. If I haven't mentioned before, it's called Finca San Cayetano. It's not too far away from Antigua. Definitely worth coming here. The food's good, the coffee's good. It's a beautiful, beautiful location. So let us know if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos as well. We do a lot of things where we don't really film because we're not sure what exactly is fun for YouTube, I guess. So if you guys enjoy this, please let us know. Other than that, I'll link our Instagrams down in the description below. And we'll see you guys next time.